um, yeah, she she played the the world championship and maybe there was. And it's nice to. There's a so different focus now. Already, now we're here. Really fast start from Barcelona. So we see again here the white team is Barcelona and we see the blue team in Langen. We're trying to. Yeah, you can find the numbers of the players or the numbers in the, with the player name you can find on our homepage uvr uwr 24de there you can find the team list again if yes. you want to see wh which number is which player yeah and uh, here we start so seeing the game taking part in the center so yes. Barcelona here with the bow possession trying to Starting move good. to the corner mm -hmm. playing from there um, passing nicely to and there was no player there yeah. This now maybe I don't know if this is related to the big pool you have in Barcelona. As it's probably this thing five meter deep and uh, twenty. That's not long. where they train. They oh, train no, actually. They train in a in a non oh, non dimensional rugby pool. They train in a pool that doesn't have three meter depth. Okay. So they're partly three meter. So now they're playing in a in a what is it, four meters here, right? We're playing at four yeah, meters. It's three it's three meters fifteen. It's twelve and a half meters long. And now we see here Langen in the ball possession, typically coming from the corner. They're trying to keep the ball down the space, but here drop down. So I think it was Captain Petra who, or ne Ria Spalek who here not could not receive yes. the pass and it got lost. But it's a good forechecking here. You see that, that the ah, German team. Now they stall team. the middle position of yeah. the defender trying to get down there, but there are two or three players from Barcelona there trying to catch the ball. Um, it's actually Karina now playing as a goalkeeper. It's Karina Stein from Ge or the Techet middle yeah. yeah, in the meanwhile. Yeah. <laughs> if you well. So it's like she's from a yeah. original German player playing in the German main league for Stuttgart. But now now we see the first she action she from Gadi. This year. Gadi um, Vilo with the number 15 with the first yes. first opportunity for Germany here for the Langen team. Yes. But she didn't make it. It was well defended by the... Barcelona female uh, we team. have uh, oh we have um, visitors from Colombia as well um, quite one. nice we have like seven and a half minutes left in the first half and there wasn't a goal yet they're trying really now we're defending uh, mm -hmm. Barcelona is defending and Langen is trying to manage uh, to get, get through the basket but the defense really strong now we have Sylvia on top of the goal, she's a really, she's one of the more massive players of Barcelona, yeah. which is really needed, um, because you have um, otherwise really small players. Well, we can hear see Stephanie Nusser with the number six now, trying to get the ball with the and good chance. They're taking <gasps> the goalkeeper. Oh, that was but really she didn't good. Made it well from their Spanish defender. Yes. I could not see the number. Unfortunately, Sylvia, it's 23. Who's yeah? right now? Yeah. Um, so right now the ball is at the surface, we don't see it right now, I think they try to push. Now there's, um, I couldn't see the number, but she's holding onto the ball really fast. Now the ball dropped, nobody yeah, was underneath. Like a like a pressing the ball. They're trying yeah, so, so far you can see like the both teams are testing each other, so it's yes. more the ball position on the Langen side, but there's not a real big chance so far, we have seen like... Uh, Kati once and, uh, and Steffi on this other side, but it should be a Now there's shoot. another chance and there are three players at the ball right now. Uh, number six we saw is yeah. Aida. It She's looks like a, as a typical um, pattern defender. right now that they're yes. trying to play the number six, Stephanie Nusser mm. here, the captain of the German female team here on the open yeah, number side. 12 is and now it is uh, action. Is trying to get past the middle line. Now we have more players in waves coming in trying to reach the goal and they reached the German side, the Langen side, but Langen stole the ball. They were quite offensive right now, like yes. this uh, offense orientated the Spanish team, maybe they should bring it. Oh, here's a good question. No, no, seven. yes. No, Karina Techert here with the interception and the counter attack. It was the first yes. good action here. Trying quite to nice. go down there, trying to help them now. Langen is in ball possession, but there are so many players trying to get um, it back to the Barcelona position. And it's Germany again. And there's a call, a referee call here. 
it was. It says it can, so it's in for attacking the hat in favor for the German team Langen, so it is against Barcelona. It's the first referee call we have here in the match. We have played already five minutes. We have seen, like, let's say two... It's timeout Barcelona. Timeout Barcelona. So far it's a quite equal game to be honest, of course there's more ball position on the Langen side, there are two opportunities, one by Kadi Velov and one by Stefan Inusa, but not really fully, uh, fully 100% chances here on the other side where the very nice interception of Karina Techer, she, yes. she has stolen the ball and, and yes. almost could get to the, close to the goal, so, but um, both defenses here are super great in their positioning, I don't see right now a, a real winner of this first five um, minutes to do we i think we have to to we'll put up our vol volume they're yeah. asking about it I, I don't yeah is it better now maybe you can hear us better um <laughs> just give us a feedback if it's if yeah. it's better right. yeah so um so we're having the time, time out right over. now was taken by uh, Barcelona mm -hmm. to go timeout, and right now they're trying to um, get in there, establish the defense. Now we have um, a Langen player right on top of the goalie of the Barcelona team, but it was saved by mm -hmm. number 23 by Sylvia, and now Aida is trying to struggle against the ball, um, getting back into her defense position quite well. They are defending really good. Um, It's a quite good game of both teams, or Spanish team or the Barcelona team. It's yeah. super nice to see that they're really yes. properly defense orientated here. They give them a bit space close to the basket, like we see here Maren Ranko Ran Ran in blue here attacking, but always, yeah. always when the German team is trying to start the attack, they're going down and yes. then wrestling, or they're, they're, they're catching the, the ball leader here in this position and then bringing him back to the surface. Or yeah. So you see, you see, you see a Barcelona team which established quite a good defense, quite mm -hmm. good positions. The player improved. They're faster. They have new players, um, as, as I mentioned, from underwater hockey or. Mm -hmm. um, oh, here's the first attack from Stephanie Nusser here yes, with number six again. Yeah, number six. Yeah, and then there comes. Yeah, another, it's really ah, and Karina tries and she breaks the through. Yeah, that was um, Ria. Who attacked here? Hart, again, Karina. Yeah, Karina so tries so and she breaks through. Yeah, that was um, Ria who attacked Hart, against Karina, so a German. To <laughs> number 12, um, Elisenda, um, but they lost the ball again. Yeah, here's in Maike. Osman should be, or number 7. Could be, yeah. It's so misleading because the players, they're having numbers on the fins without being well, uh, on the same numbers on the cap. That's a catch, so the, the defender got rid the of the... Oh, that's Antin attacking the goalkeeper. But she couldn't get through. And they are really, you see number 21 is coming down really fast and she's, she's a forward, a so she really tries to catch, that was, that was a goal, that was a goal. yeah, alright, that was a goal from above, that was a goal number, mm. Mm, I didn't see the numbers, so we hope um, Barcelona isn't uh, breaking down, so she, so they stay strong even it was one goal, um, we have a lot of Spanish-speaking uh, uh, community here um, commenting in the comments. Maybe there are some from Langen also watching. I suppose there, so after the goal, the Spanish team started with the first pass and it was already st stolen by the Langen team that are attacking here right now. So maybe, yeah, this was a certain game yes. starter for the German team, and we already know from other sports as well that it's super hard to, to, to score the first one, and then after it's like a mental break, we hope that the Spanish team could go ahead with their super nice defense work they're doing here. Yes. Because uh, so far they made a really proper job here. We remember that uh, with the, the German team is a, is a quite experienced mm -hmm. team. They always, in the last years, always uh, played in the, in the finals when they participated. So... Um, and even, uh, yeah. Oh, you see, the the goalie got really fast and 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 reacted so fast yeah. going there, and now there's. Oh, there's a good chance from. Oh, Vanger, there was, I guess, oh so my gosh! Another opportunity right now. That is that's two, that's two, really attacks. fast. They they are attacking. I think I think Langen wants wants it, so there was another goal. Yeah. They Who's came in like a wave in four or five five persons. 
We could not see who scored. It was too it's much hard. there, but the attacking was started by Stefanie Nusser, I've seen, and there was another chance from Vanya later. Kanti Velo took over, and I'm not sure if Kanti finally scored. Could be. But it <coughs> could be Kanti. I've seen no one else here. And sometimes it's so hard because they're coming in waves and when they really badly want to score they're coming in waves of four people and there's so much going around the basket and right now they're the Spanish guys also attack but um, number 12 Felicenda lost the ball trying to recover it. Really nice job trying to slow down the counter attack and so the forwards couldn't get re get couldn't get a catch of the ball so we're now back in the corner of the Barcelona basket trying to establish um, an attack moving nicely around there was two or three people coming in but the defense is also really strong Do you know see the pattern what they're doing like the German team yes. are playing a bit in the corner now there's a break the halftime break so yeah. they were not really like let's say um, did not put any effort in and to score another one. Um, the score so far is a 2-0 for Langen. Yes. So it's not been mm. updated here. Maybe we can uh, ask uh, our uh, they hear us to <laughs> update, uh, the, update goals. the score. So we are now in the halftime. It's the halftime break between UC Langen and the team from Barcelona. Um, we see in here a 2-0 lead of Langen with and there we see the trainer of Barcelona coming in, Camilo Gaetan, um, which he really improved the team, getting it playing stronger together, and he looks really um, satisfied. So, at least, yeah, to be honest, it's it's a, it's a quite good result. It's so a far, really good so. result against Langen yeah, from Barcelona. Defin we definitely, didn't definitely, definitely, we remember that Langen their first match they won against the Swedish team from Black Mermaids with a 7-0. If I remember I correct, it was in the morning. So oh, was it that's in this, that's morning? Mm -hmm. It was uh, two, two six, around yeah. two thirty. They played the first match for Barcelona. It's uh, their first match of the day. So uh, they were like pushed in the cold water here against us, just a strong team, but they made a quite good first half. As we, as we, if we would like, let's say summarize the first half or like, uh, yeah, make a recap. We can say like we have seen a good starting from Barcelona with the ball possession. The last, so it, it was then the big time of Langen with two, let's say, team attacks. We have seen a certain pattern from Stephanie Nusa with the number six make a position on the open side of the goal and trying to pass her the ball. Yes. Once she had the chance to score, you didn't make it. There was another attack from a ball from her. We have seen Kati Felov once uh, with a nice attack. And then there was, on the other hand, we have seen Karina Techert, who she was interception, a pass um, by Langen in the, in the opponent side. And yes. she was almost coming to the goal so it was mm -hmm. uh, super close there and then finally there was a first score i don't remember who did it and the second yeah and the second and uh, after the first goal there was more and more domination of but barcelona defended up. really well yeah, yeah definitely definitely so both teams are doing here a, a good job yes <coughs> um so maybe for the spanish community and um, barcelona está trabajando muy bien en su defensa están atacando um, con con confianza um, han creado un equipo super fuerte que está contra Langen un equipo alemán que está super fuerte está entrenando um, a, a, a venir a los goles um, pero su defensa ha mejorado un montón y lo aguantan muy bien es en 2-0 ahora empieza la segunda mitad y voy a cambiar a inglés otra vez second half starting really fast into a scrum in the middle trying to get who has the ball. There, Barcelona recovers it. Um, now we have Barcelona on the other side. We switch sides in halftime. Um, that's Antin trying to get there. And that's Vanya. Mm -hmm. She's 18. She played for U20. U21 team, yes. yeah. So the mix in the... In the let's, let's take in some words for the German team is... is quite diverse. We have super young players with one year, 18 years. I think she's the, she's the youngest player right now here in the German team. And of course, okay. we have more experienced players, for example, like uh, Heike Reichuber. Uh, she was 
Um, in former times, she was a female national player, and later on, the female national coach, or the coach for the female national team, together with her husband, um, Bernd Reichhuber. Um, we have also um, Köppen Petra, also a uh, super experienced uh, player, yes. and also a lot of former national and actual national players, like, for example, Ria Spalek. Stefanie Nusser. Stefanie Nusser, yeah. And, uh, Mike Rosman yes. and so on. And for the Barcelona team, we have quite a few players who played at the World Championships and then the Euro Championships, um, and they're trying to establish quite. Um, Here's a good pass to sorry to interrupt you, Jumar. Yeah, and okay. Ranko here now having receiving a really good pass, but now. super well defended. Yeah. And now we see here number seven, uh, Kati Franke. Getting the uh, post against, passing to uh, Maren. They're trying to get to, to get into their position there, yeah. Karina Teschet. And super defended, like covering the goal. Super close, very, very, very. So they, they, they brought the ball super close to the basket and kept it there with two, yeah. three passes, and they didn't score it due to the super great defense power here the from the next the wave. Yeah, um, from the Spanish team, and here's there Giovanna, Giovanna Bautista, uh, number and 83, is doing a good job. Defending against also quite nice the Lagan players. Stephanie coming up. You yes. see here always. You yes. see Stephanie in the offense. Here she attacked the goalkeeper from the ball, from the ball and passed the ball. And even this was super well defended by the yeah. Spanish team. Let's and see that's another one. Oh, oh, that's so close. Oh, Maren yeah. Ranko here with the 3-0. Yeah. was a pass from Aria Spalek. She gave the ball on the yeah. close side. And Maren Ranko here. Super scored here. Finished with your score. Uh. And she... Oh, no. It was... Oh, it's no... What What it happens? It's no goal. It's a referee no goal. call. There was a referee call, yeah. So the ball was inside, but the referee decided that it was like pushing or holding or something like that. We could not have seen it, but the score has been uh, yeah, declined. So we don't have here the 3-0. It's still 2-0 in favor for Langen. And, uh, and Barcelona is really doing a good job. Yeah. I'm also super surprised it's, here in comparison amazing, to last year. Yeah. They improved significantly, really yeah. Really fast, yeah. You have, for example, you have a really good um, goalkeeper team here for Barcelona, and they're doing a good job against the um, attackers and the waves that are coming in. Um, so the mix of the Barcelona team, then also some quite experienced players, some players from Venezuela, um, couldn't live there or play there anymore. This is a good one. There was Kati Filov again now receiving the pass. And they're trying the to hold on to the other. Yeah, they're really lying good on the basket. But they it was, was a really nice close. move. You've seen yes. a bit of a mistake by the defender who gave too much space between yes. her and the basket. This was the opportunity to grab her and to push the ball through. Yes. This is something you see by well-experienced defenders. They don't give you a gap, or they are more prepared for this typical attack. Now so we see the referee call from coming the to the deck surface. referee. No, from underwater, it's a three throw and he yeah, keeps a but warning it was a at the surface, yeah. Call from deck referee. So when the the referee is pointing up, so it's always a call from the deck referee. No, it was. No. So now we see the referee coming to the surface. There might be a discussion or something like that. So when the underwater referee comes to the surface, he wants to give a warning or he wants to give a, any explanation for his decision yes. he made. And now we see the favor, the free throw for the white team of Barcelona. And there's one player stealing a position, number yeah. 20 is uh, Iris. But this is the issue, if you put a player on the opponent basket, you have one player left to keep the ball here inside. Yes. And on the other side, they're playing disorientated because you have seen two important players in the back. And this gives That's a good chance for the forechecking for Langen here to, to uh, get the ball position. Yes. Here we see again the pattern, Stefan Nusser here on the open side. Now here Rios Balling, but she decided to pass back to Vanya. And now Vanya. Nusser, yeah, there was another nice defense. Now Anna Old must be here. Yeah, that would be, yeah. Also, 21 U21 national player, former player, I don't know if she's yes. playing actually. But no, I don't know. So we now have a good established defense. Um, yeah. Starting. This ball intercepted by the goalkeeper, super nice. Well done, by Barcelona. Yeah. They recover the ball, put it up to the surface, and a scrum right now. Second wave of defenders coming in. Four and a half minutes and left in the second there's half. There's a call from the deck referee. So it's a free throw for Barcelona, and a time, is it a timeout? And you see here the difference between uh, the first and the second half right now. Yes. You see now the. 
the German team, they have scored twice in the first half. Now they're trying to bring more effort into score twice, but this yes. is resulting into, like, say, foul. Yeah. So this, we Truly. didn't have any, any call, significant call in the first half. Now you can see the difference in the pattern. It's more physical at the goal. They're bringing the ball closer. They need to Im invest much more to score. Even Barcelona is very well defending here. Yes. And this is resulting like in, in super tough like interactions, and this is like called by the referees because sometimes uh, it's in too much like pushing the goalkeeper without a ball or like attacking yeah. the head. And you see the 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 free throws are in favor for Barcelona. Yeah. So Langen, who really wants to to score more, because yeah. I think they neither expected that Barcelona goes so strong against yeah. Langen. Um, because Barcelona, they have a league with three teams only. They're establishing one in Pamplona and one in Valencia, but they don't have so much experience, so they're playing against a really experienced team um, and getting the trip really good, like defending and even, even coming out of defense and attack again. So they recover the ball, manage to break through the other side and now really... Um, want to, to keep it there and now they lost the ball in trying to recover it their defense is really again really I think that the defense of Barcelona is super great but in yes. if we talk about the offense they're too far away from each other they want, yes. to, they want to make too long passes it makes it too easy for Langen here to intercept and on the other side they're focusing super on the defense all right it's super nice obviously they, they're calculating to losing the match but they don't want to lose it by a high result and this yes. is the job they're doing right now super well I think at the end Maybe they can even keep this result because from Langen perspective, it's right now not very, let's say... They're playing not so quite yeah, well they're together, they're no? Not, they're not the way satisfied with the yeah. match because they're making a, a lot of single single movements like we have seen here, like Maren or sometimes we see Steffi. Mm. And then the second wave is too far away. Yes. Or they make a position players or players, for example, Stephanie lying next to the basket, but it takes too long to bring her the ball. So they're like the timing is not perfect right now in the Langen. So of course there's still some some games left until it will be probably super necessary. Right now with individual class and even with some mistakes made by Barcelona, they could now. Now they get the favorite. ball again, trying to to get to the Langen side. Mm. I, I really I totally agree. Like Langen right now is really unsatisfied with the match, trying to do um, solitary actions which result in losing yeah. the ball or not coming or false, through even or false yeah. yeah so we have like two and a half uh, minutes left of the second game 15th game of today and Barcelona is really improving yeah. and, and now trying to establish yeah. they they like trying to move now look at the pass they playing closer together there the other comes behind just to 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 do a double pass um, now there's a scrum, Germany got the ball to the defender, but there was a Barcelona playing slowing down, but now we don't see it. Ah, but there's it's one, ooh, one, but it's yeah. two, three, four against one, but they really meant, ooh, they lost. Number 11, Janine Oswald could not have hit the chance to score, but she could not put it in. Well defended again, by, and now it's Ria, or Reike, 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 should we be number 12 here? Well, that was really nice to score again. There's the ball now. One of the Barcelona's yes, got the ball, trying to break through. Um, there's nobody helping her to get the ball. Number six is Aida. Uh, it was She's Ria's really grabbing here, into the score. ball. And now they're try They managed to 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 defend it. Now it's um, Elisenda passing backwards. They're trying to pass forwards. Um, now you see number 21 is always down there trying to, to nice, lay there. Yeah. Yes, he comes from the water hockey, so she's quite has these uh, three-dimensional underwater. Views. But now you see that even like Barcelona was playing more self-confident. You yes. see now that they're like waiting until they're being attacked before they're passing, so it gives them more space. It's not that easy for Langen again to to get the ball. Of course, they do it right yeah. now on a physical basis, but then still they this they will find the defense, a well-structured defense on front. So it's a two against three opportunity here. And even oh, that's a close one. Barcelona. That's a close one. But there's but, but there's always a hand again, between. There's Ida, always a hand between. Yeah, there's Ida. She's really experienced. Yeah. She got in there without any fear. Just grabbing the ball, putting it to the surface. So 30 seconds left in the second half. The score is 2-0 in favor for Langen. Both goals are scored in the first half. There's another referee call here. The ball was outside of the field. is in favor for Barcelona. And I would say like it's 20 seconds, Coming 15 nice, seconds left. 
So it will be Just like... Over, yeah. over, no, it's a free throw. Yeah, time is running down, another 10 seconds. And that's what we, that was just said, like they really want, they are unsatisfied with the game and it results in some faults, like Stephanie is there on top of the other player, grabbing from him, but there are two, and three, the game is over, yeah. two people be down there uh, trying to establish... But this well, was and that's that's it. It's 2-0 yeah. for Langen against Barcelona. A nice job, Barcelona. Mm -hmm. To be honest, it was a super super exciting match here. I've not expected it to be honest in 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 uh, in advance. So I really thought it would be more clear for the Langen side, but Barcelona yes. really focused on it the defense. It was so was focused, nice no? They not they 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 defended like they they've not they um they not received any goal in the second half. There was, let's yes. say, much more referee court, which yes. also, of course, even a favor uh, or advantage for the like defending team. Of course, it gives you time to breathe. It takes time from the clock. Because um, we have here, like, running time. There's no break uh, during yes. the referee calls. But nevertheless, uh, Langen, as we analyzed, they tried yes. put more effort, but also more individual class in their offense, what was resulting in through like ball loses, two yes. long passes, and even like fouls, and they resulted in um, free throws. And so we see here, or we saw a, a quite close match, it was super nice. 2-0 um, in favor of Langen. Yeah, and now they're just commenting on the, on the live chat there, some Colombian um, persons watching, um, and then they're saying that Ilya, one of the goalkeepers, did also a nice job. And they always yeah. want me to say vamos, <laughs> um, but that would be partial. So I am for the best team to win. But it was a really good job from Barcelona, and then we, I think, nobody expected a 2-0 for Langen, or only a 2-0, and it was really, really well played. And uh, next up we have uh, the men's of Barcelona. So the men's team um, is playing against uh, a German team as well as they, they're playing against Mars, which will also be really interesting um, to see how it goes. Um, do you have the men's list yeah, for maybe. Spain? Do I have Spain in you? Just looking for it and trying to find that's it. So we have the ladies. That's Mars. Now here we have Barcelona and, Barcelona. and I'm, Okay, I'll, I'm start with Barcelona. Uh, I'm sorry if I mix in with the numbers, uh, Spanish and uh, English, it sometimes happens. Um, so number one is uh, Albert Rodriguez, uh, number three is Ab... That's not a name, and I don't know the player, Abreu D. Um, number four is Ferran uh, Rigual. Number five is Alejandro Betancourt, uh, como Alejandro, uh, Alejo. Um, number seven is uh, Leonardo Arteaga, que viene, um, que está Venezuela. Venezuela. Uh, number 9 is uh, Camilo Gaetan, number 11 is Camilo con K, um, number 13 is Jorge Gomez, number 15 is Carlos Santiveri, number 17 is Joel Filter, number 21 is uh, Magi Rovira, number 23 is Daniel Garcia, number 24 Victor Gonzalez, number 69 Juan Hernandez, and number 81 is Alexis uh, Bustamante. For the March team, Torsten is taking over. Let me introduce the March team, the German champion. Uh, the last time they played here, 2006, and now we have a new team playing with number one, Heckrat Markus, number two, Sascha Büchner, number four, Martin Schottmüller, number five, Jens Dingel, number six, Georg Daringer, number eight, Jürgen Schier, number nine, Christian Ferschler, number ten, Jochen Schottmüller, eleven, Michael Wiesel, thirteen, Christian Staubach, fourteen, Christian Bowald, fifteen, Alexander Wicht, 16, Florian Wiesel, 23, Colin Leible und 24, Matthias Otten. I've already seen that uh, Christian Staubach is outside, so he will be one of the um, substitution players. And, so, um, yeah. and now we, uh, the others I have not seen, but so this is what I, what I received. So he's not playing in the first half, maybe he will be brought in then in or in, like substituted yes. in the second half as a goalkeeper. And let's see here what the Spanish team is doing of course uh, the German team here as as in the last years always Germany received one of their like let's say top five places 